Hi, I'm Michelle Kempema, Director of the Colorado Model Railroad Museum, and I thought I would give you a little behind the scenes look at what we're doing today. Um, this is a Saturday here, so it's pretty busy, and I'm back in staging, and this is our Rapido ski train. Uh, you can see we've got our out of service handmade sign here. <laughs> so he's out of service today because we're working on him. So when we turn this train on, all these lighted cars draw so much power that it spikes on startup and shorts out on us. So we've come up with a way to solve that problem so that we can uh, much more efficiently run this train. So you can see we've got our cars being worked on there off the train here. And I'm gonna go into our workroom and show you what, what the guys are working on. The board comes off from here. So the challenge is getting this, I getting see you're the right using tab. the high-tech business card. Yes. <laughs> Which the, the prongs are different than from the previous uh, run of Rapido's passenger cars. Yeah, that's my business card. Yeah, and they work really good. <laughs> they're like solid. They're, that's awesome. They've got the pretty thicker. Solid. <laughs> so you have to put all yeah, four cards Yeah, yours are in. much, much better at it. Maybe you're a little stiffer probably than the They are. Cards. They're a little thicker. I'm going to go get you some more. I might need to get another. And so that allows you to pull the, the Yeah, piece it, there's a safely. couple of little, little prongs there that it pushes out of the way that allows you to separate the floor. Okay, so you can safely pull it apart without breaking any parts too. Yes. Okay. We'll get okay, so here we are pulling this out. And it's uh, Is it still one side, on the but one side's the other. out. Now you gotta work on the, the other, other side. side. Needs a little persuasion. There we go. Another high tech how to here. Yeah. <laughs> Once it's right. out, now we have the board. Yeah on top that we could remove. And this is where you're taking the part for Daryl to fix. Yeah, so we add to the board <clears throat> the capability of avoiding surges. Yeah, because our ski train would short out every time we turn it on. Yeah. So, brilliant solution. Daryl, what are you doing? I'm adding a resistor and a diode. Uh, in here where this capacitor is and that way the capacitor will it'll slow down the charge so we won't have a short uh registered on our because circuit our ski breakers. train has so many cars that it yes. pulls in and mm -hmm. it would short all these the all these big caps want to charge at once okay and and so you're making them slow down their yeah, charge I'm, I'm slowing down the charge on the initial okay but then when they discharge the run it i've got to have a diode so that they get full power on discharge okay all right, very cool. Disconnect the capacitor completely, add a resistor diode assembly to the capacitor, and then reattach the capacitor. And that's all you have to do? That's all I have to do. Great. There's the finished product. And then that goes back in the car over here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wires long enough, it's got to go way over in here. Okay. So now we're reassembling the part that they're all just finished. Right back into the train. see it lights up and it lit up beautifully for us. Um, this is probably not a problem that you'll have on your home layout, but when you have a staging yard of this magnitude, we have our circuit breaker set in such a way that something with a draw like that would throw our circuit breaker just because of the size and magnitude of this yard. And so we solved our problem. We have a beautiful ski train from Rapido ready to run and we're going to go run this train.